So as you can see, I've got Hello World written on a display. I want to show you how to do that. So here I am in VS Code. I'm going to go to Platform I.O. to the home. Go to Libraries. I'll look up SSD 1306 because that's what this display is. Here's a lovely library by Adafruit. I'm going to throw it in here in Buddy System. Um, this is the beginning of Buddy System. Add it in there. You can see now it's the lib depend lib library dependencies is updated to include that library. So if I were to go back to the folders and say lib, no, sorry, includes, no, platform IO, lib depths, and there's the uh, current um, dependencies included. I go to main IO, my main dot ino, my um, Arduino file. I'm going to add in um, as part of this. I'm just going to create it. I'm going to call it display control. I will include Arduino. And also include the other things I need. So I need SPI. I need wire. Um, I need, I believe I need, although I'm not displaying any graphics just yet, when I do, I'm going to want the graphics library. And I will grab the screen library like that. Uh, and then I'll declare my three um, functions that I can call by uh, including this library anywhere in my project. And I can call these functions. Okay. Now I'll make my CPP file. And include the display control H file, which has my functions declared. <laughs> I have a few I have a few things I need to declare. So I'm going to have to declare screen width, screen height, the OLED reset, uh, and the screen address. So I'm going to zip through typing that out so you're going to get fast forward. And now I want to uh, declare my actual display here, so Adafruit SSD 1306, I'll call it display, and I'll throw in the values for width and height. here. I'm just going to grab these functions, throw them in here. Okay. And first off, we're going to initialize wire in my board. Um, my SDA and my SL, SCL uh, aren't the same pins as what would be a default pins for any de development board. <laughs> and so I have to declare what pins they are. 
I'm going to make sure that the display is actually running. And on the screen address that I have provided. And if it's not, I'll run a for loop that essentially sits there waiting until it works. And then I will say I'm done there. Okay, so I have nothing else for it to do. Normally, what I would do is I would have statuses in the case of enums that tell me what point I'm at, but because this is a simple setup, I don't need to have that in there. So there we go. So that's initialized. And then I want to, uh, I'm going to clear my display just in case there's anything on it. When I call the, call the display string, I'm going to, oh yeah, no, one more thing. Uh, display dot set rotation to this will flip the rotation of my display so it's displaying the right direction right now the display is set upside down so that helps me have it set correctly okay so display dot set text size text size I'm gonna say two uh, display dot set text color. Uh, in this case, this is a monochromatic display, so I'm going to set it to white. And this is a constant, right? That's defined on uh, in the library. I'm going to set my cursor to. 0x, zero 0y. Zero and then I'm going to print that line. So display.print line, whatever that is sent to it. And then you actually tell it to display like that. And for clear display, or to display, to clear the display, you just say, Clear display, like that. Now you could fill the, the display with black because it's white on black is the colors. So you could do that, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, and that should have us in a good spot. So let's go over to my main. I'm going to include display control H. And then I say in my setup, display in it like that and then I say display string actually I'll do it all in caps <laughs> with a escaped new line and that'll do so let's save this let's build it real quick just to make sure it's cool looks like it let's send it to the Let's send it to the, uh, the board. There we go. Hello world. So every time I want to do a display, you look at the code, it's going to clear the display for me and then send up the, the string. And this is because I have not set these PCBs up with serial. So I can't, I can't get serial feedback from the board. This allows me to have a display board connected and, and, and send values to it. And once I'm done, I just get rid of the display library. And that's it. Hope that helped.